Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. Whether you can see it or not, you're looking at billions of living organisms. And oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How can massive blue whales eat microscopic crustaceans? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a bowl, some water, pepper, and a toothbrush. Okay, so you probably think of food chains, you know, like on land. But some of the largest animals, you know, like the blue whale, eat some of the tiniest microscopic organisms, you know, like krill. But how, how, how do they do it? You know, they're so big and krill are so, you know, tiny, you need a microscope to see them. What? I'm gonna show you. You know, you gotta start by getting a bowl and you gotta fill it with water. Then get some pepper and don't do the sneeze. That has been done. That sneeze joke on pepper has been done way too much. And here's the question. Do you think I can get all the pepper out of the bowl using nothing more than this toothbrush? <laughs> That is so wicked cool. Okay, so, wow, what does this have to do with how blue whales are able to eat the smallest microscopic animals? And if, if, if krill are so tiny, what do krill eat? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Plankton are single-celled and multicellular organisms that are too small to swim against a current and thus can only drift along. There are about 20 grams of plankton in every 1,000 liters of water. There are three major types of plankton. Phytoplankton are plant-like microscopic algae and diatoms, as well as other cellular life that can produce energy from the sun. Phytoplankton make up most of the plankton mass in oceans and bodies of fresh water. Phytoplankton are also responsible for more than 50% of all the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. Zooplankton are animal-like microscopic single cellular and multicellular life that are split into two main groups. Those groups which live their whole lives as drifters and those drifting larvae of the sea invertebrates. Copepods or microscopic crustaceans are the most abundant of the zooplankton. Krill, like many zooplankton, wait deep in the dark layer of water during the day where they sleep. When the sun goes down, they come to the surface layers of water and begin to feast upon phytoplankton. Blue whales are able to feast upon krill because they use baleen, thin plates that hang from the roof of their mouth, which filter water and trap krill, just like the toothbrush filters water and traps pepper. Finally, there's a third group of plankton, which are neither plant-like or animal-like, but instead are made up of protists and bacteria. So now you know that this pond right here is full of billions of living things. You know, seeing how a blue whale can eat microscopic plankton is why science is so cool.